What is up everyone? Will Mosley here and from the last vlog I think I mentioned that I would be focusing a lot more on just kind of the, the dad life, the parent life vibes and follow it up with that. Like we're just going to continue to dive deeper. I think that's really the thread of what this whole vlog is. And without further ado, we are going to be asking the question, what are common challenges modern dads face when trying to balance work and family today? So I think I think about this every single day. I go through this every, every day where I'm trying to figure out how I can spend the most time with my kids while also being financially responsible. And there's not really any good I wouldn't say there's not any really good balance, but I think every family is different. And, and like some people are very financially secure and some people are struggling. And so with that, you have to make sacrifices along the way. What I have kind of deemed um, super important, at least when trying to manage between like being husband, we got a little wet table here, we're gonna wipe that off. <laughs> One more wipe, one more wipe. When trying to manage like, okay, uh, being husband, uh, working, uh, being with kids, which I have five boys, by the way, five boys, Eden, King, Titan, Maverick, Lux. Um, and all the other things, whether it's hobby with his filmmaking, stuff like this, like all of it, if I'm trying to do work, while being a dad, it's not gonna work. If I'm trying to be husband while trying to like work, it's not gonna work. If I'm trying to be husband while being like dad, it's it doesn't really work. So I try to like create buckets that each of these are in, like that, and really try to separate it. So like with Eden and King, sometimes I'm like, hey dad, you know, will you have tablet time with me? If I am in the middle of cleaning the kitchen, like one, that's a no, but also two, if I were to try to satisfy just stopping the kitchen and then going and doing tablet time and then coming back, like my mind while doing tablet time would just be a lot on, on like, it'd be like, oh man, I haven't finished the kitchen yet. You know, I wonder how long tablet time is going to take so I can get back to finishing the kitchen, which isn't fair to the kids. Um, with balancing work, I, I just started a, I'll tell you the schedule that we had and now that school started we have a completely different schedule but I had a bit of a, a philosophy when we were uh, in summertime which was like work hard play hard and it worked well it it did work well it was one of those things where it was like I was working a lot of hours I was saying I'd say probably about 12 hours a day but how it would look would be we'd wake up and yeah, a little blown out there I'd wake up um, really early, like 3 a.m. I'd go do an Amazon shift. Uh, I'd pick that up. I'd take a nap in the car for like 30 minutes to an hour and then deliver that route um, at 6 a.m. I'd finish that route about 9 a.m. I'd come back home, I'd take a nap, and then after said nap, We'd go on a day adventure, whether it was going to, say, Charleston, which is kind of like five hours away from us, or going to Charlotte, or going to Greenville or whatever. We'd literally travel, go have fun, do our thing, come back, get back about five. And then from there, I'd take like a little nap, like a 30 minute nap. And then I'd go out until about 12 a.m. Come back, sleep for a few hours, and do the whole process all over again. So it was a lot, it was a lot. It was making good money, it was having a lot of fun, but <laughs> the one thing that we were not getting is a lot of good sleep in there. But it was, it was not, it was not a marathon, it was a sprint, and I knew this. Now that school's in action, now that school's started back up, like, I can't exactly do the same thing that I do. One, I'm running a business, WNC Pro e-commerce, uh, so that requires a little more dedication and time. And two, the school schedule is pretty fixed. You know, you've got, you've got, 
change our little angle here. You got the kids going to school at eight. They got to get out of school at uh, three. And so the day trips have stopped. Um, the ridiculous Amazon shifts have kind of stopped. And so now I'm kind of back. I am had to create a schedule that would work best for uh, what we got going on. All that being said, how my day to day looks like right now, it's still, I wouldn't say, typically balanced. I, I don't think that anyone's schedule is like perfect. The perfect nine to five where you go to work and the kids are watched by whatever or go to school and then you spend time with the kids after that. Like, I think that works for a lot of people, but that's not our current situation. We have five kids, right? And so three of those are in uh, school right now. Eden, King, Titan. We have a baby and we have Maverick who are still home. And I am the um, sole income provider of the family which puts a lot of pressure on like making sure everything's moving and grooving. It also means that Laura is home with the two kiddos. And so like feeling as though you're getting a break as a father or getting a break as a mother, like it almost is non-existent in our household as far as us two kind of being together without kids because we just don't have like the family support system that I think a lot of other families do. Part of that is from just death in the family and part of that is just bad relationships in the family. My mother died at 12, her father died I believe at 12 or 11, um, something along those lines, both of those. Uh, I, may be get, I may be getting that the exact year wrong on that. I'm reflecting back. Either way it goes, I don't have like a grandma for the kids to go to. Uh, and then I never knew my dad's side of the family. So I don't have anyone on that side. So I don't have grandma number one or grandma number two or grandpa number one, or grandpa number two. My, grand my father is in Florida. And then my mother-in-law who is amazing, who's a wonderful gym, she does a lot for the family, but it's just her. So there's not a lot of balance when it comes to being able to have like those intimate moments and times away from the kids, which is super important in balancing, you know, personal and work life. And so most of the times it kind of comes when the kids are, at, are asleep or whatever. Uh, so we make it work. But at the end of the day, I think figuring out and hiring a babysitter is going to be the best option. It's just like hiring a babysitter for five kids. It's a lot. It is indeed a lot. Um, I got a couple more little questions to dive into uh, as far as this topic. <laughs> I can go on and on, but I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to sit down each day. Um, Starbucks is kind of my little, my workspace. Pretty much what I'm doing is drop the kids off, go to Starbucks for a few hours, work on WNC Pro e-commerce. Uh, and then at about 10.30, I'll go out do deliveries um, for Walmart, for Amazon, whatever. Pick the kids up, hang out with them for a vibe for a little bit, and then go back out at 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. Uh, do more work, and then come home, hang out with the kids, bedtime routine, and vibe out with the wife, get ready for the next day. And then the weekends are off. So that's kind of how I'm doing my schedule right now. It's, a, it's 55 hours a week, and most people don't want to do that. So. That's a thing. All right, let's try to run through these real quick. Um, are there any key time management strategies that help dads navigate both worlds? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I've created a little system for myself for the weekend because like, not only is it that you're being a parent, being a dad, like you also, if you own a house, it's not enough to just pay for the house, you have to maintain the house, right? Upgrade the house. If you're doing a lot of deliveries, stuff like that, if you were using your car as a business, you have to maintain your car and keep up with that. And so it's not just enough for you to just work, you also have to create strategies and, and things like that to make it so that the tools that you're using every single day uh, stay up to date, stay you know, well taken care of. 
Um, so I just created a home checklist for myself weekly. I use ChatGPT. You'll probably hear me mention ChatGPT in every single one of these films because it's AI is so integrated in my life now that there's not one idea that doesn't pass through AI and then come out the other end. Like right now, the topics from this film, questions generated through ChatGPT. Um, <clears throat> so I have a weekly checklist, a monthly checklist, and then an annual checklist of home maintenance stuff that I need to do for the house to keep it up to date. And I'd like to say it's finally feeling, it's finally feeling really good. It's feeling like everything's starting to work again. Like Laura is maintaining the house and doing all these different things like on the day to day to day to day, but it's also my job to like keep up with the maintenance of everything and like, okay, like I swapped around the washer and dryer uh, yesterday because it doesn't make sense. Like when you take it out and the washer is block, the dryer hand thing is blocking, um, is blocking you. Like I switched that around so that I then can also move the dog crate over there as well so that we then have now a maintenance slash cleaning closet under the stairs. It's just over and over and over. Like just think about how can I improve each system 1% each day. Also what is something that is causing me a lot of pain and how can I cut that out too? So optimizing and then cutting out the thing that's causing you a lot of pain each day. All right, we got three more and then we will be out of here. Uh, how important is setting boundaries at work for achieving a work-family balance? It is tremendous. I am the worst at this, but it's tremendous. When you are a contractor, which that's what I am, uh, when you contract, you set your own work schedule, you uh, can clock in whenever you want to, you clock out whenever you want to, you are able to just honestly do whatever you want to do. But with that freedom, uh, <laughs> like like uh, like what, Peter Parker from us, or like Spider-Man, with great, great power comes great responsibility, like that's powerful, but at the end of the day, you still need to make money. And if you are not out there looking for ops, if you're not out there like grinding, you're going behind. There's like a, a, a thing from, uh, I, I saw it in a Casey Neistat video, but I don't think it was his original idea. But it's like if you are on a, like an airport uh, moving track thingy thing, just flat, if you stay still, you're still going backwards. If you're running in place, you're not moving. You gotta fucking bust ass and run to get ahead. And I really feel that for uh, for this. So I think setting clear boundaries of like, okay, this is work time, so don't disturb me, don't bother me, I'm here, I'm working. And then personal time. So when I said personal time, not being like, okay, what's the next stop? What's the next thing? You know, boop, boop, boop. It kind of comes back to the buckets that we talked about. It like looks like we're milking a cow. Um, and I have a hard time doing this because I have a very hard time saying no. Uh, and dad, hey, can I, you know, can we do da 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 da? Hey, Will, I really need this. Like, at the end of the day, like if I was at working a traditional job, I could not do these things that I do. And even though it sounds so boring and so lame, like having a paycheck every couple weeks and having uh, you know a very set schedule that you can just clock into in your brain and almost disassociate a little bit is nice to have when you have all this stuff bouncing around and things are not things are are sporadic and that's how I feel as though my life currently is I don't have it all I don't have it figured out not all of it not most of it uh, we're just vibing here all right we got two more to go what role do supportive parents and co-parents play in balancing work and family? Uh, explore the collaborative aspects of maintaining a work-family balance. I, I'm lucky uh, that me and Laura, we generally get along on most things with parenting. We're pretty on the same page with our parenting style. Um, that parenting style is gentle parenting we're very much about like having our kids have their own voice, speak their opinions, things like that. 
talk about their emotions. Are you happy, mad, sad, scared? Why are you feeling that? You know, where are you at right now? Are you zero? Are you 100? Are you 79? Why do you feel that way? And having them voice their opinion and voice that stuff because at the end of the day, like, when you say, hey, how are you doing? And someone says, good, that tells you nothing. Nothing about what's going on in their life. It's a blanket expression. And if you dive a little bit deeper and you hear people, that's good. Like, I think a lot of times it comes down to accountability. There's not one day that goes by that I don't fuck up, that I don't mess up, that I don't think I'm like, oh, well, you could have done better as a parent. There's not one day. And I think having that accountability of like, you can easily be like, oh, my kids were bad, or oh, my kids were da 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 da. Like, you could be that way, do that. But like, at the end of the day, like, did I get them out to play? Are they hungry? Did you feed them? <laughs> like, did they get a good sleep? Like all these things come into play and like with five people and two dogs and three cats and one hamster and a wife, like all of it, like everyone has all their emotions. So I think I'm very lucky in the fact that me and Laura both agree on how we parent our kids. Um, and then also how we're embracing our culture. I think that's very important too. Like the Eden and King are brown they're all the same they're all from me and Laura but Eden and King are brown like me and Maverick Titan and maybe Lux hard to tell with baby could be white passing and so that could be confusing as a kid when you know I'm black and white and Laura is you know Puerto Rican and white and like it's just like you there's there's a lot that comes with being multiracial and we advocate for our kids every day um, and we do affirmations you know I am beautiful I am brown I am loved I am a good gamer I am a ninja like all these things to help our kids understand like yo you're awesome like I think we need to do that for ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis anyways uh, just in general because it's hard being in this head with this voice all right last one can flexibility at work impact family dynamics positively um, how? And discuss the benefits of having a flexible job schedule when it comes to family components. I, I would, I would have said before that I think the flex, I think the flexibility can be absolutely beautiful, but I think that you have to be a very responsible person. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the most responsible person. Like I think that there are people that can just be like, okay. I'm going to get up at this time, I'm going to do this work, and I come home, and boom. Um, but there are other people that are, have a hard problem with that, myself included. Like, I, I, sometimes I'll get up, I'm feeling good, and some days I'm just like, ah, ugh, why? Why today? Um, so I think enforcing some, some rules on your own self, penalties, whatever, if you have a hard time with the flexibility. But I also think the flexibility is amazing, right? I just told you that I was doing a completely different schedule a week ago and then I was able to have the freedom to just swap that schedule around because I have uh, pretty much how my work goes is we have WNC Pro e-commerce, Amazon, Walmart, Uber, Lyft, and all the other contractual jobs or whatever and all of them have their own little like times that they make them more money. And so with that, I can kind of just plug and play. Boop, 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 boop. Amazon was my go-to for the summer. But because those shifts don't really match up with the thing, Walmart's gonna be more my, my, my jam, my vibe. Uh, and I've also, with, with all that, you kind of got to have your bread and butter. So those are bread and butter, but with the e-commerce business, that's the big money. That is the long-term investment. That is the stuff that is going to be residual. That's the stuff that's going to take us from like here to here. All right, I think that's it. Um, if you really enjoyed this video about fatherhood, parenting, all that stuff, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment below about your how you uh, go about parenting, how you go about like balancing work life, uh, all that stuff. Uh, share this if you think it resonate, it will resonate with one of your friends or family members, etc. Uh, and then we will we'll see you tomorrow. Do the same thing. Got some new topics. I can tell you. I can tell you what the topic is tomorrow. Let's see. One, two, three.
topic is actually I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. Check in tomorrow. All right, take care, guys. Peace.